Hey folks, welcome to Board Game Casual. In a previous video, I talked about my top five game night accessories, where I covered some essential items to make for a fun, comfortable game night for you and your guests. In this video, I thought it would be fun to talk about some items that are a bit more frivolous and maybe turn up the fun and extravagance a bit. These are my top five over-the-top game night accessories. If you're like me, where game night goes hand in hand with cocktails, then what better way to kick off the night than with a round from a really nice top shelf bottle of something special. Kicking off the list at number five is a fancy bottle of booze. I like to keep a fully stocked bar, but man, it's fun to reach up top and welcome friends with something a little more extravagant or unique. Maybe a glass of Don Julio 1942 or some Hibiki Japanese whiskey. It's a baller move for sure, but always well received. It makes people feel pretty special that you're willing to share, and maybe gives someone an opportunity to try something that they might not otherwise have. That's my number five, a premium bottle of booze to share. When I have a lot of folks over for gaming in a big group party game situation, or maybe some sort of tournament, I like winning to be about more than just bragging rights. So number four on my list of over-the-top game night accessories is providing prizes for the winners. Now I don't go too crazy here. These are usually things like a bottle of wine, maybe some unique hot sauces or truffle aioli, fancy chocolate bars, consumables are always good. Uh, nice hand soap, scented candles, a set of dice, or hey, someone might even go home with a new game because I stocked up on copies to give away as gifts when they were on sale. I like to buy a lot of smaller cheap things too in hopes that most people have a chance of going home with something. Sometimes I'll make the prizes known so that people know what they're playing for. And other times, I'll wrap them up in gift bags as mystery prizes, maybe with some clues and have the winners choose blindly. Then everyone gets the added fun of watching the winner reveal what they've won. But my favorite thing to do, particularly when in a big group, is having everyone bid on the prizes in a live auction. This works particularly well with betting games and games where players are winning some sort of money, like Ready, Set, Bet or Big Boss, because then after the game is over, you can have people hang on to their money tokens, which they can use to bid on the prizes that are being auctioned off. This is great because as a player, I might not have finished in first place or with the most money, but I was able to get in the highest bid on one of the prizes, and now I'm going home with a USB disco light and a copy of Love Letter, so you tell me who the real winner is. Number three on my list is a pair of items that go hand in hand with auctioning off the prizes in number four, and that's a gavel and a mini PA system. Now the gavel can be used for other purposes as well, maybe official rulings, final judgment on questionable plays, or in lieu of a buzzer. And honestly, the mini PA system is a handy thing to have in big groups when you're giving instructions or keeping people organized without blowing your voice out. But let's be real here. If you're gonna host an auction, you've gotta go all the way with a gavel and a sound block. <coughs> So, and people have got to be able to hear you when you're calling bids. The mini PA system allows you to keep your hands free and amplifies not only your auctioneer sound, but also ups the excitement and energy from the crowd. And one dollar bid now two. Anybody want to give two? Would you give two? Two? How about a bid now two? Two? How about a bid now three? Anybody want to give three? How about a bid now three? Three? How about a bid now four? Anybody want to give four? Would you give now four? Would you give four? Four? How about a bid now four? Four? How about a bid now five? Anybody want to give five? How about a bid now five? Looking for five? Anybody want to give five? So, for four dollars. Now shifting back to those smaller, more intimate game nights with you and your close friends, you know, your regulars, or friends that you hope to become regular board gamers, well, what better way than to make them feel welcome and part of your home than with some customized, personalized drink glasses with their names on it? This is something I came up with a while ago that I thought was a fun idea. I mean, imagine going to someone's house and they say, hey, you want a drink? Here's your glass. And it's got your name on it. My friends absolutely love it. Anytime my buddy Andrew comes over, he knows exactly where to go in the cupboard and pull out his glass. There's a lot of places that sell customized glassware. 
I got these from Personalization Mall. I purposely wanted cocktail glasses, and I wanted a 14 ounce size since they were a little bigger, which means less time spent refilling. But you can get pint glasses, juice glasses, steins, wine glasses, all sorts of glass or drinking wear. I definitely recommend getting the ones that are etched rather than printed. I don't think there's a better way of making people feel like they belong, and best of all, no one's forgetting which glass is theirs or whose drink is whose. My number two over-the-top game night accessory, custom monogrammed drink glasses. And my number one over-the-top game night accessory always ups the fun and gets everybody hype. That's a game night championship belt. Oh man, does this liven up a game night. One of my favorite things to do when I've got new people over is actually to keep it secret until we've finished the first game. Then I go grab it and drape it over the winner's shoulder and they just light up. It gets everyone cheering and laughing and posing and it's a perfect opportunity to take some pictures. Sure, you can do trophies or plaques, but everyone wants to hold that belt. I mean, unless you're competing in combat sports, when else does the average person get to wear a championship belt. You can go as deep with it as you want to. You can keep a legacy of title reigns and returning defending champions. You can print out name labels and put them directly on the belt plates along with dates. Or you can just keep it light like I do. The winner of each game becomes the champ, gets a picture with the belt, and is the champion until the next game. Now I made this belt out of a blank championship belt that I got from Undisputed Belts, and I ordered some chrome vinyl decals that I designed and got custom printed for it. Maybe I'll make a video with more details on how I made this one if people are interested. But there's a lot of options and price points out there for custom or semi-custom championship belts. At this point, this one's showing its age, and in hindsight, doing chrome on the gold mirror wasn't the best combo. It's tough to read from a distance and really needs more contrast. I should probably redo the vinyl decals. The other reason I like the blank belt was because it's easy to redesign or repurpose for something else. But I'm actually planning to upgrade to something a little fancier in the near future, so stay tuned. That said, this belt has never failed to liven up a game night. It's the ultimate example of a frivolous, over-the-top game night accessory, and even before putting this list together, I knew this had to be my number one pick. Get yourself a championship belt. I highly recommend it. Let's go, champ. So there you have it, my top five over-the-top game night accessories. I hope this gives you some inspiration if you're looking for new ways to spice up your game nights. Now, I'm always looking for fun, out-of-the-box ideas to add to my game nights, so if you've got an over-the-top game night accessory recommendation, tell me about it down in the comments. I'd love to hear some fun ones that I haven't thought of. And as I mentioned, if you're just looking for some basics on putting together a fun game night with some more down-to-earth accessory recommendations, be sure to check that video out on the channel. I put the link down in the description. Thanks so much for watching, thank you for liking this video and subscribing, and I'll see you next time here on Board Game Casual.